The European Central Bank faces a formidable challenge. The Eurozone economy is slowing, raising concerns about a recession. Yet, inflation, while moderating, remains stubbornly above the ECB's 2% target. This dual threat presents a complex dilemma for policymakers. How can they support economic growth without reigniting inflationary pressures? The ECB's recent interest rate hikes, aimed at curbing inflation, have come at a cost. Borrowing costs have risen, potentially dampening investment and consumer spending. The question now is whether the ECB can ease its monetary stance without jeopardizing its hard-won progress on inflation. Cypriot Central Bank Governor Konstantinos Herodotou, a member of the ECB's Governing Council, has expressed cautious optimism about the inflation outlook. He acknowledges the complexities and uncertainties that lie ahead, but remains hopeful that the measures in place will steer the economy in the right direction. Herodotou sees room for potential cuts in borrowing costs as inflation edges closer to the target. He believes that these cuts could provide much-needed relief to businesses and consumers, stimulating economic activity and fostering growth. However, he stresses the importance of closely monitoring upside risks to inflation, emphasizing the need for a data-dependent approach. This means that any decision to adjust interest rates will be based on the latest economic data and trends, ensuring that the ECB remains responsive to changing conditions. Herodotus' stance reflects the delicate balancing act facing the ECB. On one hand, there is a need to support economic recovery and growth. On the other, there is a risk of inflation spiralling out of control if measures are not carefully calibrated. While there are signs that inflationary pressures may be easing, the situation remains fluid. The global economic environment is still recovering from the impacts of the pandemic and new challenges continue to emerge, making it difficult to predict future trends with certainty. The ECB must weigh the potential benefits of lower interest rates for economic growth against the risks of reigniting inflation. This requires a careful and measured approach, taking into account a wide range of economic indicators and expert opinions to make informed decisions that will best serve the long-term stability and prosperity of the Eurozone. Recent economic forecasts have painted a mixed picture of the Eurozone's prospects. While some indicators suggest that the worst of the slowdown may be over, others point to continued weakness ahead. Some economists have even warned that the ECB's own forecasts for growth may be overly optimistic. The uncertainty surrounding the economic outlook adds another layer of complexity to the ECB's decision-making process. Policymakers must carefully assess the credibility of various forecasts and avoid making premature judgments about the strength of the recovery. Easing monetary policy too soon could have significant consequences. If inflation were to rebound, the ECB might be forced to reverse course and raise interest rates again. Such a move could damage the central bank's credibility and undermine confidence in the economy. Moreover, premature easing could lead to a resurgence of financial imbalances. Low interest rates can fuel excessive risk-taking and asset bubbles, potentially sowing the seeds for future crises. The ECB must therefore proceed with caution, carefully weighing the risks and benefits of any policy adjustments. Section 5. Navigating the inflationary tightrope. The European Central Bank's challenge is to navigate a narrow path between supporting economic growth and maintaining price stability. This requires careful monitoring of economic data, 
clear communication of policy intentions and a willingness to adjust course as needed. The ECB must also remain mindful of the potential impact of external factors on the Eurozone economy. The ongoing war in Ukraine, geopolitical tensions and volatility in global energy markets all pose significant risks. The central bank must be prepared to respond flexibly to these challenges. Section 6 The Global Context Adding to the complexity the ECB's task is made more challenging by the uncertain global economic outlook. The International Monetary Fund has warned of a synchronized slowdown in major economies, driven by factors such as high inflation, rising interest rates and geopolitical uncertainty. The interconnected nature of the global economy means that the ECB cannot afford to operate in isolation it must closely monitor developments in other regions, particularly the United States and China, and be prepared to adjust its policies accordingly. North and South, Italy, Section 7. Marine, the Eurozone's uneven cycle. recovery. Adding to the complexity is the uneven nature of the recovery within the Eurozone itself. The economic landscape across the member states is far from uniform, with some countries bouncing back more robustly than others. While some countries, such as Germany, have shown signs of resilience, benefiting from strong industrial production and a robust financial sector. Others, such as Italy, face more significant challenges. Italy's economy has been hampered by structural issues high public debt and political instability, which have all contributed to a slower recovery. This divergence complicates the ECB's task, making it difficult to implement policies that are effective across the board. A one-size-fits-all approach to monetary policy is unlikely to be effective in such a diverse economic environment. The ECB must navigate these complexities carefully. The ECB must therefore strive for a nuanced approach that takes into account the specific circumstances of different countries. This involves a deep understanding of each country's unique economic conditions and challenges. This may involve targeted measures to support weaker economies, such as financial aid packages, investment in infrastructure, and policies aimed at boosting employment and growth. While ensuring that policy actions do not inadvertently fuel inflationary pressures in stronger ones, balancing these competing needs is a delicate task that requires careful consideration and strategic planning. Section 8. The Long Road to Price Stability the ECB's fight against inflation is far from over. While there are tentative signs that price pressures may be easing, it is too early to declare victory. Underlying inflation, which excludes volatile energy and food prices, remains elevated, suggesting that inflationary pressures may be more persistent than initially thought. The ECB must therefore remain committed to its price stability mandate and resist the temptation to ease policy prematurely. A gradual and cautious approach will be essential to ensure that inflation expectations remain anchored and that the Eurozone achieves a sustainable recovery. Section 9. A call for vigilance. The ECB faces a challenging economic environment